Ladies and gentlemen, I do not let the music play out sometimes at the start of a broadcast uh, to try to um, peak peak your your entrance. Uh, the it is not a dramatic flourish that I am engaging in. I am so busy during the breaks and and right before the show, feverishly looking over all of the unbelievably uh, important news that I I have to be flogged into my chair to begin the transmission. So again, thank you so much for joining us on this Tuesday, the 23rd day of July 2013, the day after the momentous birth of the future King of England, Count Dracula the 27th, the parasitical visage, the whole world rejoicing over hereditary dictatorships. I want to know why there's not teacups with Kim Jong-un on them. And uh, why, you know, when he marries, there needs to be the, the royal baby. The royal baby is about to be born. Uh, but I need to get over that now. It's just I'm being bombarded with race warfare constantly by the establishment, uh, which is a British globalist uh, divide and conquer technique. Uh, and, then, and then being taught to love people riding around in Disneyland uh, carriages and, 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 and to watch women mainly fawning everywhere of, a, of the queen who they have no idea how evil and wicked those people are. And that Seville, the admitted necrophiliac pedophile, was their best friend who would bring them special goodies. And then I have to watch them being worshipped everywhere. It is just beyond disgusting and makes me want to vomit. And it just makes me want to throw out an expletive. I've decided the new expletive I'm going to use that the FCC may find me for is Joe Biden. By Joe Biden, you've done it. I've decided that, that, that that's like a profanity now. Like if I slam my hand in the door, I'm a, but it's only a profanity if you say the word Joe Biden in a British accent. If you slam, it makes no sense. It's nonsensical. I'm probably developing some type of syndrome. But uh, the point is, I just want to say over and over again, Joe Biden. <laughs> it's just whatever. Uh, we're going to go to break and come back here because, you know, wh why do we do this? Why is there a weird five-minute segment we started at eight after and everybody else starts at six or seven after? Because I didn't like running network news on my show going back 16 years ago when it got syndicated. And they said, fine, do the five minutes. We'll have a different clock. But I keep saying we're going to do this. The time has come. The time has come now that we must go to the regular clock at least at the start of the hour. So uh, I, I guess I need to just make that decision and go with, uh, we put feelers out to our, our radio affiliates asking what they think. And uh, we're going to be doing that soon because it, it's almost like a false start or something. They realize some listeners cannot hear us on AM and FM and things uh, when I come in in this segment. And so maybe now I'll just play like elevator music, uh, just just looped in a British accent. Joe Biden, Joe Biden, Joe Biden, Joe Biden. <laughs> Look, the whole place that that comes from, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, I did a little video last night. Where we played a clip from this TV series back in the 80s, V, where the two babies are born. And uh, I said that basically Kate Middleton had actually, the Duchess of Cambridge, excuse me, had actually given birth to to two clones of Joe Biden and Barack Obama. And when the Joe Biden baby comes out, he has a little snake tongue shoots out. And I say, Joe Biden! Uh, right there at that point, you know, as I'm announcing them, like whenever they have uh, people at these Washington dinners walk in, they'll announce who's been knighted. And, and it's like, oh, look, it's who's here? It's Colin Powell. And they'll go, that is the knight commander of the realm, and even affected an accent. So you're not truly trendy unless you've been knighted by El Queenie. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live and we are broadcasting worldwide on this 23rd day of July. 2013. 
we have one of the national leaders and the head of the Houston New Black Panther Party, Quanell X, uh, joining us. Quanell X has actually been on the broadcast before, because even though I disagree with a lot of his statements and politics, um, he is one of the only people that would stand up, say, when black people are having their children taken for no reason other than the fact that they are poor and the dad works two jobs. The, the CPS now nationwide says that being poor is a reason to have your children taken. No drugs, no abuse, no nothing, plenty of food, healthy. Oh my gosh, uh, you know, you live in a little house at the storage facility and you're the manager of the storage facility and kind of the night watchman and then you also mow yards in the area and you're married and have four kids, we're going to take them all. And then who went and raised a stink about it? We sent reporters, confirmed it. Quan L. X. And uh, Quan L. X, uh, you know, I liken him to basically a black Klan member. I mean, it's, it's the same kind of statements, but it's from a black perspective. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask Quan L. X today uh, when he comes on the air, uh, is there anything in this world outside of black and white? Does he know that white people are about 7% of the world population? As you know, all over the world, there's just human beings going through the same tyranny under the global new world order. Or is it just too fun to get into this whole race game and play along with it? So Quan LX, and you've had the big demonstrations he's had with the folks with the guns. They've got guns. The, the, the pro Zimmerman people have got guns. Uh, it, is, it is pretty serious stuff. By the way, there's a story up on InfoWars.com. It's also up on DrudgeReport.com. That's where we found it from Gateway Pundit, and they did some great research. And I've got a Don Salazar doing a report on this to show some background. Because this is a great report, but what we always do at InfoWars.com is we show you the Justice Department's own numbers where they admit 90-plus percent of so-called hate crimes. You can look this up. It's a major phenomenon in the last 30 years or so, are committed by the Jewish synagogue itself against itself, or the black students against themselves uh, as a attention-getting thing. You can become a movie star, basically, and be all over the news, and then, you know, not have to do your finals. In fact, it always happens right before finals. People are freaked out. What do they do? In the old days, they'd, you know, somebody would stage a car wreck to get out of finals or whatever, you know, being so nervous or whatever about it. Now you just spray paint a swastika, or you burn a cross in your own front yard, or you burn the local black church down and then say you saw white guys doing it or you carve uh you know on your face uh, the kkk and you're black or they've had white women carve obama on their face and then say black men did it i mean this is this is uh, whites do it too it's it's a it's a it's a false flag self-inflicted wound staged event uh where you try to frame people and and i could take one look at the woman and i even said this yesterday to the crew you can take one look at the woman, and again, we're doing our own article on this that shows their report, but shows some background on this. Left-wing plant at Houston Pro Zimmerman Rally is far-left activist, and they've confirmed her name and who she works with, and that she went out with a sign, uh, and it appears the other left leftists left her alone, and the national media zoomed in on, we're racist and proud. And the media went with it, didn't go over and ask her, MSNBC and others, Hey, uh, the um, Houston Chronicle didn't go over and ask her, hey, is this for real? No one did that. In fact, one more thing for Adon to add if he's listening. Add not once, not twice, not three times, four times I can remember. They would have people dress up in John Deere hats, wear overalls, and go out and say, I love Rand Paul, and I hate black N-words and Mexicans. And over and over again, they had signs all of it, saying, I'm with the KKK, and I like Rand Paul. Remember three years ago when he was running for the Senate and winning? I don't believe that many years has already passed. The point is, is that they did, folks, I, I have been doing a pro-gun rally before. Mike Hansen, by the way, has the footage of all this. We're digging it out. A few weeks from now, he's going to bring me a big thing of archives. We're going to dig through it. I'm going to put all this stuff on the web where we'd be at a rally and there'd be guys show up in Ku Klux Klan outfits and I'd fall into their car and I'd go, that's a Democratic Party union sticker. You guys are Democrats. And they'd be like, F you, Jones, we're going to get you. I mean, I've got this kind of stuff on tape, just bombshell.
I, I've been through this over and over. It's theater, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, hit refresh on that, guys, so it'll actually come up with a photo. Or give me a document cam, and I'll uh, actually show uh, TV viewers what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, we can document cam right in here, and I'll... Uh, I'll uh, pull this up for people. Left-wing plant at Houston Pro Zimmerman rally is far-left activist. Oh, I see you were pulling up the story about Rand Paul. Good job. Yeah, there it is. We're racist and proud. I mean, why didn't other reporters from the Tea Party groups that were there go over and, and say, hey, you're fake? And, and, and they're so disdainful, folks, they'll, they'll tell you they're fake to your face and then laugh at you. So here's a false flag. By the way, George Zimmerman, a, a SUV turned over and had gas leaking, and he ran over with a fire extinguisher and drugged the people out of the car. It's funny. Saturday, I was driving back from the coast, and this guy was on about 30, 40, runs a red light, smashes this old lady, T-bones her. I was three cars back, but I stopped in case witnesses were needed until the police got there. And I'm not some hero. But I did see that people that were closer to the crash than I was just drove on by. And by the way, that's illegal in Texas, and it should be illegal. Failure to render aid is unbelievably disgusting uh, if, if, if people need help. And uh, some old ladies that were right in front of me, they stopped, were helping. Some cars around that, they drove on by. This woman was T-boned, hurt her head, hurt her knee, uh, couldn't get out of the car. And... I just couldn't believe that other the people closer to the wreck than I was. I was back like three, four cars. I saw it happen. Didn't, didn't, didn't go render aid to this woman. I mean, wouldn't you want your grandmother to, to have people stop and help her? It's like when I saw a lady choking once. There was like 25 people around her going 911, 911 like parrots, and no one was helping the woman. And then I had to physically pull them out of the way. They're like, hey, are you trained? Hey, wait for the police. And then as soon as I got the woman to cough the big piece of bread up, they're like, you're a hero. But we're looking at me real weird. And I'm like, we're going to get sued. So I had to pick that woman up. And I thought I might have you know, hurt a rib or something. The woman weighed like 300 pounds, 270 pounds or so. And then we got out of there. Because in America, helping somebody, it's true, is, 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 is prasada non grata. But a Zimmerman... We have the tweets up on Infowars.com of people attacking Zimmerman for helping. So we're going to be uh, going over uh, that report as well. And now we have the Justice Department, and now we have all of these congressmen coming out, and I'm going to cover this in the next segment, and saying that we need to ban guns and ban concealed carry all over the country as a civil right, the guns are racist. And I told you this was coming. I mean, you saw it back during the whole uh, Sandy Hook situation where on the news they said gun owners collectively caused this. And you saw the headlines about gun owners, you know, we're sick of you, you killed those kids. And then all these black activists from Al Sharpton to... Reporters at Fox Sports were like, I'm telling you, the NRA is the new Klan. They want to kill black people. And Michael Moore came out and said, I'm telling you, this is a quote, racist white people want their guns because they're scared of black people. Unbelievable. When it's black people denied ownership of guns in all these major cities, that's why you have such a high crime rate, the criminals can run wild. I mean, they've done this in European countries, and the crime rate explodes because, because they've disarmed the people. It, it empowers predators. And but that's how you take disarming black cities, cities that are mainly black or largely black, all are disarmed. The, the Klan's the Democratic Party, folks. They've never let blacks have guns, and they're never going to let you have guns. You belong to them. They're going to run the welfare programs they administer to suck off of. They're going to run the food stamp programs, and you're going to be used as a political weapon to bring down the rest of the country, just like Mexican laborers are. They're not bad people, but they're subsidized with government welfare at a level nobody else is to help bring down the wages. That's a corporate subsidy, so they can pay illegals things that they couldn't live off of without the government subsidy. It's a plan. So George Zimmerman helped save a bunch of people, and now he is being demonized as usual. We're going to get into the latest on the NSA. And Paul Watson has chilling photographs of Jesus Christ desecrated, uh, the crucifix machine gunned and bombed by Al-Qaeda. 
uh, Christians having their heads cut off, thrown off buildings. I mean, you know the mass murder. There's new photos of, of churches ransacked all over Syria. Uh, churches are also ransacked all over Egypt. That's being reported today. We're going to be getting into that. Uh, Obama-backed Syrian rebels ransacked Christian villages and churches. Uh, Christians attacked in Egypt by Muslim Brotherhood supporters in mass. Uh, more videos of them chopping their heads off, beating their heads in, and throwing them off roofs. These videos are pouring out and will never be on any news channel in the United States. This is the plan. Exterminate Christians in Africa. Exterminate black Christians in Libya after Al-Qaeda took over. Exterminate Christians uh, in the Muslim Crescent, the Red Crescent. In uh, south of Russia, I mean, it's on. It is a UN program. And meanwhile, the TSA says they won't stick their hands down your pants anymore if you fingerprint when you go to the airport. But, but then they still might stick their hands down your pants. And that's been the plan all along. They're now expanding checkpoints outside the airports. We've got breaking news on that and so much more. And we're going to premiere some radio theater here at the bottom of the hour, an amazing film. Stay with us. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now, that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. I mentioned this, but let's drill into this right now. First off, confirmed left-wing plant at Houston Zimmerman Rally is a far-left activist, and they had a bunch of these people out there to hold up racist signs, to hold up stupid signs, and to say stupid things to the media, and to be quoted by the media. And the media knew, the establishment media knew full well what they were doing, engaging in a piece of theater to deceive the public. A photo from the Houston pro-Zimmerman counter-rally at the NBPP anti-Zimmerman rally uh, picked up by AP shows a woman holding a sign that read racist and proud. And again, that was picked up by the AP. You will not get a retraction. They're guaranteed in on it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that looked incoherent with other reports that pro-Zimmerman side, the Houston Chronicle identified her as Renee Vaughn. And then it goes on to break down that the Austin resident, Renee Vaughn, echoed the signs, ugly statements by yelling, we're racist, we're proud, we're better because we're white. This was on MSNBC last night, folks, at the uh, group as they passed, according to the Chronicle. So trying to stir stuff up. The act to smear the Zimmerman supporters is racist. She probably works with the Justice Department, folks. This should be investigated as racist with a leftist plant working as a photo and comment was picked up and spread worldwide. Scanning the internet, we found that Renee Vaughn from Austin worked as a far-left environmental group, the Texas Campaign for the Environment. And that is federally funded, by the way. Renee was even, or her photo linked to the far-left environmental website. And it shows her right there with the federally funded group. And I'm telling you, we should add in our article, I know this group, they're a land grab group for the big banks, uh, not about real environmental issues. They may have useful idiots in the organization, I don't know. But I, I know this group, they get federal funds. And so you have a federally funded operative, guaranteed, guaranteed, confirmed, and they don't even care. They even say their real name because they know the media isn't going to cover it, just like they edited Zimmerman to make it sound like he was racist. There's a black guy out here, look at him. Instead, it's a, uh, this guy out here, he's looking in things, doing things, he looks, he's acting weird like he's on drugs. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, where's he going? Where's he going? Okay, well, well is he white, Hispanic, black? Uh, he looks black. See, they, they're they all manipulating you, ladies and gentlemen. 
Meanwhile, there's a whole world of serious things going on. Now, I've said this day one, it's about making owning guns racial and coming out with 180 degree frauds, 180 degrees from the truth, and saying, ladies and gentlemen, worldwide, it is racist to own guns. You have a right to be free in your community of no guns. While the government has the monopoly of force and rules over you and criminals don't follow the law and abuse you. It doesn't work. But they know it doesn't work. It's about a monopoly of force in the UN zone treaty. They say the state must have the monopoly of force. Look it up. Unidir. July 7th. 2001, ratified in the original treaty, and the new treaty says we implement according to these agreements. Just like Obamacare says we get a blank check, or the NSA cybersecurity is a blank check, or the amnesty bill is a blank check. They're dictatorial blank checks, and that's what the UN treaty does. And that's why Forbes and even the Wall Street Journal have had to admit it goes after individuals' guns. It says states can have guns, but not people. And now Representative Luis Gutierrez, or Luis Gutierrez, calls for House hearings on Trayvon Martin and gun control. Washington Times. Boom. I heard him this morning because I monitor enemy channels on XM, MSNBC. I'm not saying XM's an enemy, but, you know, they carry enemy operations on there. And I'm literally, this is enemy operations. I'm not just saying that. This is an occupation takeover grid. Here's another one. NRA, Holder exploiting Trayvon Martin death to push gun control the hill. Yeah, no kidding. NRA, blast Eric Holder for pushing gun control on Trayvon Martin's back. Pelosi, Congress must uphold oath to protect and defend the Constitution by passing gun control. CNS News. See, this is the whole thing. Bloomberg goes, I'm the biggest Second Amendment supporter in the world. Second Amendment means I take all your guns. I believe in a Fourth Amendment. We're going to have police without warrants search everybody on the street. You have a right to be a slave. George Zimmerman, ladies and gentlemen, look at the Twitter users after he helped save those people in the overturned car. Uh, supposedly, George Zimmerman saved a family from an overturned car last week. Well, I say F him. The family Zimmerman saved. Were they black? If not, I still say F him. You know, on and on and on. You don't know who this guy is. You don't know if he really did this on purpose. I mean, stop being so stupid and hating somebody you don't know. While the New World Order puts fluoride in your water that lowers your IQ 20 points. They've stolen all of our advanced intellects that some of us would have had. They've robbed us all. We've got an incredible film. It's Radio Theater. It works well with radio. Coming up, the full video is up on Infowars.com. It's called Purge. It needs to go viral. It's coming up. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that... The material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because today we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid.